Alright, I want to talk about Dillian White. Dillian White's fight with Oscar Rivers. Uh, it looks a good fight that, this weekend. Undefeated Oscar Rivers. Uh, beat, he knocked Brian Jennings out, didn't he? So, Joe Joyce couldn't do that. So, Dillian White's in a proper fight, isn't he? You'd say out of, Dilly, out of Oscar, you'd say out of Oscar Rivers, Dominic Brazil, Tommy the Machine Gun Swartz, and I forgot who else. You'd say out of them guys there, oh, Andy Ruiz, you'd say Rivers on paper is the best out of them, but now that Ruiz has beat Joshua, you'd say Ruiz, wouldn't you? But we don't know how good Rivers is, do we, till he fights Dillian White, then we can judge him, but I think this is a tough fight for Dillian White. If Dillian White beats it, beats Rivers, has he got a claim to saying he's the best? Well, he's in the mix, isn't he? He's pay-per-view, he's, he's highly ranked, he's number one in two or three bodies. Well, there's two of them, sanctioning bodies. He's very highly ranked, and he's as game as a pebble. And he's got a dangerous left up. Now, is Tyson Fury going to fight Dillian White, bare knuckle, in the street, or in the ring, because Dillian White's put the challenge out to Tyson Fury. Let's get at it, in the ring or on the street. Now, Tyson's gone quiet. I mean, we've got a fighting man here, a, a gypsy fighting man, but yet you're not fighting anybody. So how can he be a fighting man? I don't... King of gypsies, he's not got a belt. I don't get it. Dillian White is the real deal, so I want to see Dillian White against Tyson Fury. Yes, please. Do I want to see it in the street? No, I don't like to see things like that, but I dare say if they fought, there'd be loads of security there to hype it up. But at the end of the day, Dillian White's there on merit, isn't he? Now, will he regret not fighting Anthony Joshua at Wembley? Yes, I think he will. I think he'll regret that. But Dillian's had some fist off Joshua before, hasn't he? So that'll be fresh in his mind. A bit like Joshua in his mind at the moment with uh, Andy Ruiz, but we'll come to that in the next video. But Dillian White, I want to see him fight Tyson Fury. Yes, please. I want to see him fight Tyson. I think it's a good fight. Uh, I think it's a great fight. Shout out to RDX, our new glove sponsors. Thank you very much for uh, giving Den an extra pair for me. All right then. I don't feel as good as these ones Steffi Ball gave me for my birthday. I've had these about three years. Steffi gave me these three years ago. I think these are 10 ounces. I think they're 12, are they? These feel lighter. Have a look. But, uh They what Gavin McDonald for uh, Gavin McDonald. You'll have to go on on uh, YouTube and have a look at Gavin McDonald's fight. For, for, he put Gavin McDonald's ex gloves then. Steffi gave me. So Gavin McDonald, grow a pair and fight Josh Whale. Ten ounces. I thought they were heavy. Two ounces makes a difference, doesn't it? But. Uh, but yeah, Dillian White, you'd have to say he's in the mix and he's beat Parker, Parker beat Ruiz. And I think Dillian White against you would be a good fight, but whether Mick and Peter can get Yui in the mix, I don't know. Uh, I thought Yui could have done better against Samuel Peter, but the guy came to spoil, didn't he? But he's got a win against the former WBC champion and onwards and upwards, isn't it? So... I had to read the comments the other day uh, after the Mick Hennessy, after the review of the Channel 5 show, I read all the comments over there and I laugh about it. So like I've just said in the previous video, bring as much hate on as you can. I want, us, I want it to come out of your system. 
bring it out of your system as much as you can. Cause it, it tickles me, it's things like that tickle me. Didn't used to, I used to get raging, but we learn, don't we? We grow up and learn, but I'm going to tip Dillian White to win this weekend, but what I have at back of my mind is Dillian White against Parker, that last round. I was wondering if Dillian has got fitter since then, because he went at Parker at some pace, didn't he, for that fight? And I think he just got tired at end. Now, I think if Dillian had kept that pace up, and had, and had that fitness against Joshua, I think he'd have done a lot better, but since then he's had, in, he had, he's had that injury against Joshua, hasn't he, to sort out, and I think he's sorted his fitness out. And you've got to take your hat off to Mark Tibbs, because Dillian's invested in his career, hasn't he? He's invested his own money in them camps up at Loughborough. You've got to give him respect. I give Dillian White loads of stick, I've given him stick for a couple of years for the simple reason that I don't think it's fair that we have pay-per-view fights with guys that are not fighting for a world title. I don't think it's right. I didn't think Bellew against Hay were right, no world title. You know, I remember the criteria years ago where they were saying it's got to be a world title and they've got to be elite fighters. It's got to be where we can't miss this fight. That's why they kept knocking pay-per-view back. I mean, they knocked Frotch against Andre Ward back for pay-per-view. Frotch against Boutte, they knocked that back for pay-per-view. I mean, how crazy is that? But yeah, you got Tony Bellew against David A. Pay-per-view. Why? David A. David A coming back for paydays. David A came back and had four paydays. Is David A bothered about fans? No. David A's not bothered about fans. He is a money whore. Do you know what I mean? Money whore. It's just, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Do you know what I mean? But, like I said, nobody else is going to say it like I say it, are they? They're all just going to go along with flow, aren't they? But I'm going to tip Oscar Rivers to beat... Sorry, I'm an Oscar Rivers to lose against Dillian White, but don't be surprised if he beats him. Now, let me just have a quick run through this. Dillian White, box wreck. Right, Dillian White. And beat two world champions, Annie Brown and Parker. Right, the show this weekend you've got heavyweight Alan Babic 1 and 0 against Morgan Dizou. We're losing record 5 and 6. Alain Babic will win. Super lightweight Dalton Smith 1 and 0 against Reese Smith 3 and 4 losing record. Dalton Smith wins. Fabio Wardley, heavyweight, 7 0 against Mariano Ruben Diaz Struns, 13 and 14 and a draw, losing record. So, first three opponents, all losing records. The Channel 5 show the other night, not one fighter out of the full 20 on the show had a losing record. Sky show, pay per view, already. Three guys losing records. Take note. Channel 5, free to air. Sky, subscription, plus £20. If you've got a problem with what I've just said, leave a fucking comment. If not, fuck off. Charlie Duffield, light heavyweight. Versus Dan Aziz, 8-0. Good fight. Richard Riaporte, Nat Riaporte, 9-0. Chris Bill and Smith, 9-0. Cruiserweight, great fight. Lawrence Acoli, 12-0 cruiser against Mariano Angel Guidino, 13-2, shite fight. Chisora, 30-9, 9 defeats Chisora against R2 Spilka, 22-3. Good fight, Spilka beats him on points, because I think Chisora's spent. So Spilka to beat Chisora. Dave Allen, 17-4-2 against Price, 24-6. Dave Allen by knockout, round six. 
Dillian White, 25 and 1, Oscar Re Reavers, 26 and 0. Dillian White to win, great fight. Overall show, looks a fantastic show. If it were non-pay-per-view, we'd be raving about it. But it's pay-per-view, and I have a problem with pay-per-views that have no title fight on the line. The White and Dave Allen and Chisora, none of them are even for a belt. You know, the only belts on the night are WBA Continental and a WBA Intercontinental, both at Cruiserweight. You're probably going to put Rhea, Richard Riaporte against Lawrence Acoli. They'll probably fight later on this year. That's what will happen. But there is no world title fight on this weekend. There isn't even... You've got two continental fights at Cruiser and a southern area at Heavyweight. No, at Light Heavyweight. So, that's pay-per-view. That is an Eddie Hearn pay-per-view. And all you people who keep sending me emails saying you're digging Eddie Hearn out, you're digging Eddie Hearn out, you don't dig Mick Hennessy out. Oh, Marky, you don't dig Mick out, but you dig Eddie out. Listen. Mick Hennessy, as I've just said to you, he's just put on a show on Channel 5 with Asif Valley and a guy in Saudi. Free to fucking air. Free to air. What you got here? Subscription and pay per view. Not even a fucking world title fight. Eddie Hearn's words were every Sky show from now on is going to have. A world title fight, even if it's non-pay-per-view. That were Eddie Hearn's words a few years ago. Since then, not kept his word. I'm only going on what Eddie said. That's why I fucking dig him out. That there is utter... Well, it is, isn't it? Chisora against Spilker is recycled crap. What is Dave Allen against Price? Dave Allen does numbers and he's funny on Twitter. And David Price, we keep hearing about if David Price is going to hit you, if David Price hits you, you're going to go to sleep. Who has David Price ever fucking hit and gone to sleep? Well, let's have a look. Let's investigate. David Price. I know my style might not be to everybody else. Right. When was the last time David Price ever hit anybody who was any fucking good and he knocked him out when 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 i'm fucking looking here when right well i'm gonna tell you shall i i'm gonna tell you the last time david price knocked anybody out who were any good right it was 2012 30th of november matt fucking skelton He'd had six defeats and he were 40, and he were 45 year old, nearly 46. So David Price knocked out David Price knocked out Matt Skelton, a guy pushing 46 year old. Right? That's the last time David Price hit anybody of any note that's the last time so uh, and then I look I look through this now and then I see before then he knocked Audley Harrison out he'd been knocked out five times and he knocked Sam Sexton out and, and John McDermott so David Price went Tom Dallas, John McDermott, Sam Sexton, Audley Harrison, Matt Skelton and that made Tony Bellew say he's hair apparent for the Klitschko's. The load of fucking old bollocks. David Price doesn't knock anybody out at all. So, as far as I'm concerned, Dave Allen knocks him out. But it's recycled shite from Eddie Earn, utter recycled rubbish. But it is what it is, isn't it? I said that for somebody who didn't like me saying that. So, alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing, boom.